in, in the world? If the answer's anyone but you, it's gonna be really awkward. It is me! I've got two words for you. Trish. Stratus. And now I got six more. Is going to be on captive. Wait, sorry, miscounted. One more. Audience, how amazing is that? That is totally amazing. I can't believe a WWE legend is going to do my show. Is she a WWE legend too? That must be why she was so eager to come on. I just know you can barely turn on a TV in Canada without seeing her on it. She's basically a screensaver at this point. Well, however it happened, you did good. Thanks, Alfie. No problem. She's all set for next week. And all you have to do is fill in for Trish in a match against someone named Charlotte Flair and win. <laughs> oh, is that all? Look, Trish has got the flu, but still wants to ensure Charlotte loses. You've got a show, but need a guest. And I'm an agent who knows how to put both of those things together. So what do you say? Should I drop the contracts? Like I could say no to Trish Stratus on Captive Audience. You go iron out the details. I'll go flatten Charlotte Flair. Love it! Break a leg! Not literally. Try to stay in one piece. Especially your face. But go get him. Taking her place at center stage, the true superstar, Cap. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Chile. Why are you putting on sunglasses, Saxton? Because the brightest superstar in WWE is on her way to the ring. Come on, Corey. Aren't you at least a little starstruck? Cap is ready for her close-up. The Queen has arrived. Behold, Her Majesty! And from the Queen City, Charlotte If you want to create a legacy in the WWE Women's Division, then Charlotte Flair is the mountain you have to climb. Yeah, there's no one even close to the amount of accomplishments that Charlotte has. The WWE ring is her unquestioned. Up until an hour ago, everybody in the arena was expected to see Trish Stratus, including Charlotte Flair. 
Charlotte's got to be annoyed. She has so little time to prepare for Cap. She gets to face an indie vet instead of a Hall of Famer? Sounds like Charlotte's already won. Oof. Oh, that's, here's your favorite, Corey. Brilliant. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? Oof, she hit the corner hard. Hockey flip. Big elbow drop. And Charlotte is being controlled. Going for it. Perhaps we're going to see it. Scorpion death lock. It is in and it is deep. And that will about do it, folks. Here is your winner. And tonight, Charlotte couldn't finish the job. Everyone's in utter... Yeah. Hey. So, um, yeah. Everything good? Yeah. What's going on? Where's Trish? Who? Oh, Trish Stratus. Yeah. I'm sure it's fine, but she is not here. What do you mean she's not here? We've got a show to do. Where is she? I'm working on that now. Left a few messages. She's kind of ghosting me. Although, Natalia was here, and she had my phone for a bit, so maybe she saw a text. I could reach out to her. I don't really want her. She's trying to convince me to get some of her rescue cats on the show, and I was trying to explain that it really isn't that kind of show, but she could be really intense, and I, I just... It's just... Uh. Alfie, focus. Figure out what's going on and get back to me. I can reach out too if you need. In the meantime, apparently I've got a few extra hours to get ready for Piper Niven tonight. So I'm gonna take advantage. So it's a blessing! <laughs> this is a good thing! No. But I'm gonna take lemons and make lemonade. And you're gonna figure out why I'm sucking on so many lemons right now. On it. I'll let you know if I get any messages. Taking her place at center stage, the true superstar, Cap. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Chile. I was talking to Cap's agent before the show, and did you know she's up for a huge part in a superhero movie? Amazing. What's amazing is that the WWE Universe is continuing to support this part-timer who only shows up to wrestle when her schedule permits.
the Scottish powerhouse of the women's division. And from Ayrshire, Scotland, Piper Niven! Niven has made it very clear as of late, whatever... One of the most powerful superstars in the women's division, Piper Niven. Piper Niven is no nonsense with no time for fun and games. You get in her way, she'll run right through you without a second thought. Yeah, stepping into the ring against Niven is certainly no laughing matter. She's ready to make that statement loud and clear here tonight. Yeah, but she's facing off against someone who's as stubborn as she is talented. It's not going to be an easy fight at all. Chris Stratus' music. Looks like we've got a legend in the building. Or whoever's in control. The entrance music has an itchy finger. Oh, and a reversal. I don't know what that was, but it looked like it hurt. Uh-oh. What an inverted Frankensteiner. You have got to be kidding me. And she kicks out at two. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Oh, what a boot to the face. And an overbearing amount of offense. Here we go. Boom. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. into the ring from the floor now. And now she's climbing back from the heavens. Splash from the top. Check their face after that one. Cover! And a kick out at only one. Wow. Suplex. We're not done just yet. Part two. And looking for the trifecta. The three amigos. Top rope putting it all on the line. Feeling the W to the sky. Splash. Niven's on her last breath. For the win. Two. Now she kicks out. She kicks out. Oh, I thought that was game over. Pure guts to kick out there. Was not able to seal the deal with her best move. Now she's asking, what more can I do? She anticipated that one. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Hoisted up. What are we going to see here? Oh, my goodness. Simone Driver. Will she take advantage? There's two. It's over. All in a nice work. A valiant effort, but you can't deny that the earlier distraction had catastrophic repercussions throughout the match. What the heck was that about? Any ideas what's going on with Trish? No, but we need to backburner the whole Trish sitch for a minute. <laughs> backburner? The whole, somehow I've wronged WWE superstar and Canada's sweetheart Trish Stratus and don't know why thing? She ghosted my show, then convinced someone to distract me with her music, Alfie. Uh-huh, because we've got another problem. Don't worry, I'm already on it, but the set for captive audience, it's gone. What do you mean, it's gone? Just that it was here, and now it's not here. The whole set? So we didn't have a show today because we didn't have Trish Stratus, and now we don't have a show ever because we don't have a set. Basically, the audience might have been captive, but the set sure wasn't. Sorry. 
too soon. I knew it was as soon as I said it. But yeah, WWE is not super keen to pony up a bunch more dough for a set that we can't keep track of. Their words. But angrier when they said it. Ugh. Great. I'll figure it out. I'll see who knows what. There's gotta be someone who saw something. Taking her place at center stage, the true superstar, Cap. We are seeing a mystery play out live on television here as Cap wants to make Natalia reveal who stole the set of her. Looking up their opponent from behind, driven down, rings of Saturn apply. Oh, no. Here is your winner. This is going to fester in Natalia's head. An absolute. I've been on the phone all day. I've narrowed things down to about five or 36 suspects. It was Trish Stratus. Thirty-seven suspects. You sure it was her? I don't know why, but her behavior has made it clear that she has something against me. When I catch up to her, I'll ask. In between punches. She's out in L.A. opening a yoga studio and doing a charity match. Sneaky. Then I've got a plane to catch. Wherever she's doing that match, get me on that card. Bump her scheduled opponent. Pull any strings you have to. Consider it. Done. You don't know who might be in charge of that sort of thing and where I could find a number, do you? It's fine. I'll figure it out.
So I confronted Trish after the match. She's pretty adamant she didn't steal the set. And you believe her? She was very convincing. Of course, she's also a heck of an actress, so who knows? But she claims that we canceled the appearance on Captive Audience about 30 minutes before she was supposed to come on. That's why she had her music interrupt your match, to remind you not to forget about her. <laughs> why would she think we canceled? Probably because she got an email from me saying we were canceling her appearance on the show. It's in my sent mail. I didn't send it, though. I think I might have been hacked. It's kind of a rite of passage in Hollywood. So, this is actually pretty exciting for me. <laughs> you got hacked and all they did was send one email to Trish Stratus. Doesn't seem likely. Did anyone else have access to your phone? Only Natalia when she was putting in her number so I could call her about the cat act. It's kind of funny though, she kept making mistakes so it took forever. She's kind of hopeless. Or... She was using that time to cancel Trish Stratus, and then pointing a finger to keep me from looking at the surveillance tapes. Probably upset about not getting booked on the show. Still, stealing the set? I'm not sure she could have pulled that off by herself. She does have those cats. Doubt they're very good at moving furniture. If they were, they'd definitely get onto the show. That would be some good entertainment. But I'll look at- Thank you, Alfie. Might be good for you to reach out to Trish. I'm not sure what the protocol is in WWE, but in Hollywood, if you fly cross-country to fight someone, then realize the beef wasn't their fault, you usually at least send a text. I think that's pretty much universal. Good idea. Quiet on the set, please. Places, everyone. And action. And we're driving. We're driving. This way. Oh, and this way. And we're looking at it. And we're looking at it. Oh, look at her. And we're running. And we're running. And we're running. And we're running. Creeping in. Creeping in. Creeping. Backing out. Backing out. Backing out. And come in for a high five. And now stand back to back. What's going on here?
Here comes the queen, Charlotte Flair. A woman who has truly... From Dungeon... A superstar team for a superstar night. And. It is so great to see Trish and Cap together in a WWE ring. Two of the brightest lights of the silver screen going into battle together. What screens are you watching, Saxton? Never mind, don't answer that. The point is we should be looking to the future no matter who's trying to cling to their past. Superstars, legends, rivalries, revenge, and a stolen talk show set. We've got it all in this tag match here at Backlash. When things get this heated, there's no better way to settle it than in the ring. Oh, sure there is. But this will be a lot more entertaining than watching group therapy and collaborative problem solving. Nice monkey flip. Going for it. Perhaps we're going to see it. Scorpion Death Rock. It is in and it is deep. Comes out on top in this tag team match. Here are your winners. An emphatic victory for your winners. An of effort. Cap, I have a very important question for you. I have a very important answer, Gigi. You know that video game show Miz has Mr. Undisputed Champ and me hosting? Oh yeah, that homage to Xavier's show? <clears throat> down Up, Down Up is a Mike Mizanin original production that is in no way related to Xavier Woods' inferior program. Did Miz have you memorize that? 100%. Anyway, I can see you're a fan. My doofus co-host apparently has big time Universal Champ stuff to do this week, and I'm looking for a fill-in. And you thought with my cloud and star quality, I'd be the perfect person to draft. You are so sweet. Um, well... Unfortunately, Alfie has me so busy, I just can't take on any more commitments. Really, Gigi, normally I would love to do your little show. That's so generous of you, but I was actually going to ask you about one of your kids from TBD Psycho Sally. What about her? She's making waves down in NXT, and I'd love to get the spotlight on an up-and-comer. You think she'd be any good? Psycho Sally would be the perfect choice. She's smart, she's edgy. You guys would have great chemistry. Then get your pal Alfie to get her to the set. And no friends and family deals either. This is Miz we're talking about. Make sure your girl gets paid. I gotcha. Thanks, Gigi. I'll have Alfie send Sally right away. This is gonna be a blast.
Sally, you made it. I'm stoked. Love what you're doing in NXT. <laughs> Thanks. I couldn't believe it when you asked. Opportunities around here are the weirdest, most random grab bag. You'll get used to it. So for on air, do you prefer Psycho or Sally? I guess I'll go with Psycho. Keep it edgy, right? What are we playing anyway? Alfie didn't mention. Right on. We're going to be playing WWE 2K24. Everything is meta, you know? Have you played? <laughs> of course. Even though I didn't make the roster this year, there's always next year, right? Honestly, a lot of talent in NXT doesn't, so don't take it personally. Uh, disc space or something, I don't know. But today, you're the guest, so you get the choice of who you'd like to play as in a classic match. So, Andre the Giant, Macho Man, or China? China is one of the reasons I got into the business. I'd be so stoked to play as her. Awesome. I mean, it won't help when I'm beating you like a drum, but glad you're excited to be objectively humiliated on stream. Hey, that's trash talk. I'm great at trash talk. Save it for the ring, kid. I'm going to run and check in with our horrible producer. Then we'll get rolling. Seriously, relax. This is going to be a cakewalk. Easy money. <laughs> Thanks, Gigi. I thought you'd be meaner. Just suckering you in before the knives come out. Sally! Alfie Juniper! Super agent to the stars! Alfie, it's so cool to meet you in person after all those messages and calls. Though, you're not what I expected. Rarely am, though I feel like I already know you, kid. The way Cap talks about you, oh boy does she have feelings! What does she say? What's important is that she said you were ready to be the star of this show! So tell me. What kind of on-camera wardrobe did you bring? A wardrobe? I mean, I just wore this. That? <clears throat> well, um, it's definitely... Uh, look, we'll workshop it after. The important thing is your personality! I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of what you see is what you get. <laughs> okay, major workshopping. We'll make it work, though. Here's the really important thing for today's taping. Kid friendly. Kid friendly? That's gosh darn right. This is a game show. Not a game show, but a show about games. You know who plays games, right? Pretty much everyone. I mean, the video game industry makes more money than movies these days. Really? That can't be true. No matter. You know who loves games, though. Kids, children, youths. Look at this set. This is obviously a show for the under 12 demo, and you got to play to your audience. I don't know. Gigi seems pretty edgy for a show for kids. Edgy schmedgy. You go out there and play it squeaky clean. This could lead to big things. Animation, variety. You could be the next purple dinosaur. Just keep it G-rated and watch the language. I guess. Gosh darn it, I'm in. Atta girl, break a leg.
It's the right night for a preposterous match as Psycho Sally, the craziest daredevil in NXT, plays as China, and I fight her with Eve Torres. I'm Gigi, and this is Down Up, Down Up, but with arrows. China was one of my inspirations, and we are here to inspire all of you beautiful children, because you're our future. It's gonna be a long night. Hate to give the Iggy on air, but you can be a little more psycho. Sal, how are you feeling after the big debut? Honestly, not great. Are you sure Down Up, Down Up is supposed to be a kid's show? I did what you said, and Gigi didn't seem to like it one bit. Really? She walked off set muttering something that was firmly not kid-friendly. Okay, so I may have heard some feedback from Gigi. And I think this was all some sort of miscommunication. I mended its fences and convinced Gigi to give you another shot. Okay, thank you, Alfie. And now that this is all sorted, I'll relax and be more myself. That just doesn't feel like me, so I'm glad we can drop the kid-friendly tone. Drop the kid-friendly tone? Heavens no! That was right on the money! The miscommunication was that I imply you were ready to go on air by yourself! This time, I'll be on set to help guide you. To guide me. <laughs> no need to thank me. I've got your back. Now that I've done some psychoanalysis on your whole vibe... Hey... That should be your catchphrase! Psycho-analysis! Uh, not sure that particular catchphrase is my vibe, Elfie. Really? That'd be great for building your brand. No matter, just keep it kid-friendly, on the show again, and do your thing. Oh, and Gigi wants to know who you are. Sure, I guess, Alfie. Some really great options according to my internet search. Hulk Hogan! Steve! Oh. Alfie, it's Steve. Ah, yes. okay. Well, take your pick. Let me tell you something, brother. I'll take Hulk Hogan. Not your brother, but okay. Here we are again, Down Up, Down Up is on the air, Psycho Sally is back despite my better judgment, and she is joined this time by Alfie, agent to the stars. You know what this show needs? A theme song. I've been working something out. <clears throat> down Up, Down Up, it's a video game show. Down Up, Down Up, teaching kids how to grow. Kids how to, did you know he was gonna do this? Alfie's just, Enthusiastic. Down, up, down, up. Gigi and her champ, Bo. Down, up, down, up. Making angels in the snow. Act like what you do matters. Because it does.
to you, Gigi? Because, kid, you got a future. I don't know what you and your agent are trying to do to our show, but I have not been more embarrassed since, since I agreed to do a show for The Miz. I'm sorry, Alfie. He just tries. He tries very hard. Psychoanalysis? I don't think I've ever heard a person more thirsty to get a catchphrase over. But it wasn't just him, Miss Golly Wiz. Were you trying to tank our show? I wasn't. Alfie said it was a kid show. Really? And you trusted him instead of your own instincts? Gee whiz, indeed. You're just as clueless as your agent. Listen, I'm sorry. Wait, you know what? No, I'm not sorry. Regardless of what went down, you can't just stand there berating me. I'm not going to be bullied by you over my performance on a video game show. That's fair, because we're also on a wrestling show, which means I get to go to my very best buddy, The Miz, general manager of SmackDown, and get him to make us a match, unless you're afraid of a little psychodrama. That's not my catchphrase. But fine. You want to fight? That's what I'm here to do. And you can bet it won't be kid-friendly. Where was that girl on my show? There she is! The woman of the hour! The up-and-coming star! What are you talking about, Alfie? Psycho! Analysis! I got it trending online. I'm already talking to Alfie, Murray. just stop! Please! What, what's wrong? I saw you talking to Gigi and figured she was ready to get rid of her dud of a co-host and bring you in full-time. Gigi Dolan is bringing me up to SmackDown to beat the hell out of me on live TV for ruining her show. Oh, yeah. She left me a few voicemails. Miz, too. And that Troy guy. And? Honestly, I could tell from the tone that it was bad news. But Alfie Juniper is a, a good news guy, so... This is all turned into a giant mess. Oh, gosh, kid. I'm sorry your dreams aren't coming true. Being a movie star isn't my dream, Alfie. And if it means changing my whole personality and jumping through hoops, I'm not interested. I'm a wrestler. I'm already living my dream. And you're gonna have a big match on SmackDown against one of their top stars? Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I am. So, all in all, 
This has been a success? You know what? Maybe it has. I guess you're not the only one who can do a little psychoanalysis. Alfie! Get ready for the... These two short-lived co-hosts step into the ring as adversaries, proving once again that entertainment is a fickle business. Oh, you're telling me. A few weeks ago, these two were trading banter. Now they're trading blows. With how awkward Psycho Sally seemed on Down Up, Down Up, I'm just excited to see her back in the actual ring. Oh no, she could be caught here. Bad situation for her. Trapped now, trapped in a Muda lock. Oh my goodness, critical point of the match. And this one is over. Hey stranger, how's it going? Know you must be swamped with press since your movie releases soon, but any chance you could help me out with something? What's up? I've got a tag match coming up and need a partner. Want to step in? I could use your star power. You're right. You could use my star power. I'd be happy to help. Count me in. That's awesome. And hey, a win can only help promote the suspicious sandwich, right? Thanks.
Take it. Listen to that crowd. And her partner. Tag team action just getting underway. What do you think of this pair, Corey? We're talking huge star power here, Cole. Liv plus the captain. It's Boffo box office. Boffo what? Are you okay? Read the trades, Saxton. She's pushed into the corner. Boom, right in the chest. Oh, my goodness. Looking up there, opponent from behind, driven down and locking it in. Rings of Saturn. Uh oh, the end is near. No way she's. And it's over. Big tag team win there. And these two really do make the perfect pair. No frills, no gimmicks, just old school tag team excellence to get the victory. That was amazing. We've got great chemistry together. Easy to have chemistry with you as a teammate. You're only as good as your scene partner, and you're an incredible talent. Aw, thanks. Takes one to know one. Honestly, I thought you had something special from the beginning. It's so cool to see you succeeding in both WWE and Hollywood. And Captive Audience, one of my favorite shows. Really? Of course it is. Even though I have a bit of a bone to pick with you, some superstars have never been invited on. Like one whose name rhymes with Smith Smorgan. Come on the next show. I'm doing a special promotion for the Suspicious Sandwich for most of the program, but I do need a guest. It would be great to have you on. Then I'll be there. I'll even bring the sandwiches, you know? For the movie promo? Suspicious Sandwich? What? Honestly, it's an indie film, so no one knows. See you there. Welcome to Captive Audience, the biggest, bestest, mostest talk show in all of WWE. I am so excited about my guest tonight. Aw, stop. She's appeared across all brands in WWE and has graced your screens outside of it, too. I'm talking TV, reality, streaming, the one, the only, Liv Morgan. You make my credits sound so impressive. They are impressive. Maybe, but I'm not the one who has a major motion picture debuting this month. Let's hear it for our host. I won't say no to a little applause. <laughs> of course you won't. And I absolutely adore the story of how you got the role. Come on, tell everyone. <sighs> It is funny how much luck came into play, even with the unbearable weight of my immense talent. Imagine if you hadn't stepped in for me to do that cheese-sniffing web series in the first place. Who knows what would have happened? Who knows who would have gotten a career-defining movie role? Well, I'm sure my stardom was inevitable, but it did speed things along. 
In fact, if you hadn't stolen that show from me, I'd be the one celebrating the major movie premiere. <laughs> stolen? Aren't you forgetting that you said no? Poor Liv, too tired to smell cheese. If you hadn't stolen... No, I didn't steal. I saved that show from you. You would have been terrible at it, just like you are in all your projects. But I... What? Too exhausted from your C-list schedule to respond? <laughs> Need me to wake you up? I will not tolerate this sort of disrespect on my own show. I'm done dealing with this amateur. I'll be in my dressing room when you've cleaned up the trash. the woman who dazzles in the ring or on the screen. Well, one of the most... No love lost between these two. The captive audience segment got out of hand and fast. Who would want to watch a talk show without a fight or two breaking out? And the fight spilled over to social media with Liv Morgan promising a special guest of her own for tonight's match. We'll have to see what that's all about. Hoisted way up high. This is going to be bad. Crucifix power bomb. Ooh, what a forearm club. Right in the chest. What a drop kick. Boom. It's okay. They weren't that pretty anyway. From the heavens, big body splash from the top. All the momentum's against Morgan now. Yeah, Morgan has to divide. Could it be Batista is here? Take it easy, Saxton. Clearly just Liv Morgan playing mind games with her opponent. about it. Oh, what a leaping stomp. Very unique takedown from behind. Transitioning smoothly and locking it in. Get to the ropes, forcing the break. A lot of damage done, but the ropes offer a reprieve. 
Going for it. Perhaps we're going to see it. Scorpion Death Rock. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner. And the outside help definitely had to play a factor here, guys. I don't know. Made you look, huh? <laughs> Your lame attempt at a distraction didn't even work. Maybe my goal wasn't winning. Maybe it was embarrassing you. Do you really think I thought that Batista would have your back over mine? We start in what's gonna be an awards darling together and he doesn't even know who you are. You cheated your way into my role and now you think you're besties? If he's worked with you, he knows what I do. You've got no talent. Right. We'll see about that. Next week, mixed tag match. I think you know who I'll be bringing. Good luck finding someone to team with you. Liv's A-list partner is The Miz? Taking her place at center stage, the true... As this huge mixed tag team match gets underway, let's not lose sight of the fact Liv Morgan promised a larger-than-life A-list movie star, and she brought out The Miz? How many movies have you starred in, Cole? I think The Miz is a great pick. A multi-time champion, and he's in current fighting shape. The captain's partner's a big-time star for sure, but he might have to shake off some ring rust. Control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. She's got Liv here and down with the suplex. The leg trap, fisherman suplex. Oh, that kick will stop you in your tracks. He's getting a little batter now. Oh, man. You didn't need that eyebrow anyway. From the apron. Off 
the barricade. Oh my God! Compromised position here. Oh my gosh, what impact! Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. Referee's count only getting higher. Come on, gotta get back in the ring. Military press. Ooh. Mia's telegraphing that one. Oh, nails the midsection. And the DDT. Nicely done. And Miz got really caught by what would be a crucial bit of offense there. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Whoa, what a save. That should have been three. Uh-oh. Batista setting him up. It could be time. Batista bomb. Batista got all of it. Hangs on by a thread. And with that kick out, the Miz is really making himself a thorn. Just look at his opponent's surprise. And for all the power that Batista possesses, he just could not keep him down for three. And Miz now finding himself on the wrong side of momentum. Miz needs to rely on his resourcefulness. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Going down, punches and counters out. A sequence of reversals there. This is right for him. Batista with a great shot. What up? Uh oh. Fighting out. Hammered away with punches to the face. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Plucked out of the air. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Batista dishing it out now. Watch out, the animal is foaming at the mouth. Back predicament right here. Getting carried around. of his opponent. Miz has to devise a new plan here. Planning on what to do next. One strong attack after another. Not the position you want to be in right now. Just unveiling the full extent of muscle with those attacks. Position now. He thinks he has it. And he kicks out of the pin and one. There is no quit in this man tonight. Section. Batista's unleashed. Call animal control. Batista's loose. Reversal from Batista. Elbow drop. Piercing. Batista. Boom. He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. Batista with a patent. Thanks for coming, Miz. Two. And that will end it. Here are your winners. The 
star power of Cap and Batista just eclipsed Liv Morgan and SmackDown's general manager. Liv and The Miz are in a class by themselves, Saxton. These part-timers should head back to Hollywood. So, Miss, big time deal. The so called captain took the chance to ride someone else's coattails again. Hooray. Congrats. You better believe if I ever partnered with Batista, I wouldn't make him carry our whole team. Of course, I would have had that opportunity if it hadn't been so viciously taken from me by someone whose priority in WWE right now is transitioning to part timer. But maybe that's why you got into this industry in the first place. As a stepping stone to something else? The last time it was just me and you, Cap? You got lucky. That won't happen again. So I'm ready to end this. Once and for all. You and me. SummerSlam. You've got your big movie, your big talk show, your red carpets. If you're so hungry to leave WWE for Hollywood, I'm happy to help. Fade in on a dramatic, big-picture ending. Loser leaves Raw. I may be a star, but I also want to be here. You? I'm not so sure. Oh my goodness, this all has been so incredible. What? First, a dramatic confrontation and comeuppance on your talk show, Captive Audience. Liv didn't even see you coming. Then, after your one-on-one -on -one battle with Liv Morgan, Dave Franken Batista gets involved and shows up as your partner. <laughs> Oh, I can't even imagine what is going to happen at SummerSlam. Wow, you're really into this, huh? I know! And once you win, imagine all the others you can conquer. Week after week, you, you face a new formidable foe and engage in battle to prove who is stronger, smarter, and more powerful. Uh, Alfie? Uh, yes? So, I gotta ask. Had you ever watched WWE programming before you started representing me? Honestly, okay, no. I was just struck by your cheese talent. I started watching more recently, and it is awesome. The stories I've seen rival any Hollywood production. And you put your bodies on the line for real. I told you from the start that I knew you had something special. I was right. I'm surprised you're so into this. 
I figured you'd want me to use this as an excuse to leave WWE so I could move on to the next big thing in my career. Next big thing? This is the next big thing. Facing Liv and dominating the entirety of the WWE Women's Division. Don't worry about Hollywood. I'll keep the offers rolling in once you've accomplished everything you need to hear. Really? Of course. As your agent, I'm supposed to guide you. No way I would let you leave all this behind. <sighs> Though we really should talk about that 10% you owe me. Sorry, Alfie, gotta go! The flashbulbs are popping. It's the captain. Lip Morgan is here, fueled by envy. And from the lights can't be brighter and the stakes can't be higher. It's a red carpet loser leaves Raw match. These two have been fighting for the center stage of the WWE Universe for some time now. Who will get top billing when it's all said and done? Only one of these superstars will have a happy ending in this summer blockbuster match. I don't know what that was, but it looked like it hurt. Going for it. Perhaps we're gonna see it! Scorpion Deathlock! It is in and it is deep. And now we're about to do it, folks. Here is your winner. This is a travesty. What are we gonna do without Liv? Eat, sleep, breathe, enjoy life, and watch Cap on Raw and on the silver screen. Ah, the starlet deigns to arrive early to the arena to perhaps practice in the ring. Where's your entourage? Your agent? Your publicist? Ha ha, very funny. I am indeed known for my humor, and I'm glad to see you managed to stay on the Raw brand. Though can't say I'm pleased to lose Miss Morgan to Miz. Oops. Yes. Oops indeed. <laughs> 